<laughs> Yo guys Guess who's back Another podcast for you guys Yo I was thinking And as I've been working out Getting back into shape again Getting my mindset You know Really Focusing on the grind And anything You know what I'm saying Like we all should be focusing Um I just was like Yo like How many times Have you said Someday You know Someday is not a real day No one really cares about What you're thinking about They only care about What you started You know what I'm saying It you ever try to do a business and tell people about it or you thought of a business, tell people about it, and they just kind of just yes you to that or just kind of ignore you, pacify you. And um, you, you're pretty much pacifying yourself because you keep on saying someday, someday. That was me. Can't front. You know, until this year, um, you know, I've been writing for years and was too afraid, I have to say, to get my work out I, I thought that I wrote like shit I felt that maybe my vocabulary wasn't up to par Maybe my story wasn't even That good compared to others And I had to realize that Fuck everybody else Is there going to be a better writer than me? Sure Am I better than somebody else? Probably so But who gives a fuck? It's all about what I want to do or how I want to do it And how can I find my audience? You know, if people enjoy my work enough, then I'm going to build my own audience no matter what. You know, and that someday mentality, I, I had to leave it alone. I had to fucking leave it where it was at. And I had to make some choice decisions and take a risk on myself. And I wound up publishing two books last year, this, well, this year, 2018, in the summer. And... It was fucking exhilarating. It was exciting. It was amazing. And I learned a lot of what I fucked up on. I learned a lot on what I need to do next, uh, what I need to do better. It's a process, right? You're going to grow. So for every book I'm going to write now, I'm really going to know the business side of it. You know, you can definitely be a creative for all you want, but there's always a business side to things because you want to sell your product or your service, right? So I had to leave that someday mentality out there because... It would have been someday. I would have been 65, 75, 85. You know, we are living longer now with, with, with modern medicine. And what would it be like for me to live another 40 years and not write, not write a damn thing? So I focused. I, I, I put something together and I did it. And it felt exhilarating. And then what happened was, is the question of what next? I didn't have anything lined up next. And I think that's where I failed this year as well, is that no doubt I was busy writing in the first half of the year, got things going, learned about the publishing process for indie publishing, things of that nature. And then afterwards, after I published it, um, I didn't have a what next. You know, I do have other book ideas and I'm actually working on my urban love story. And my goal is to uh, have it out. Uh, by next year, next summer And um, I'm striving for that goal So I need to definitely put some work in In writing and making things happen But um, It's all about the time that you take You know and, and some of us have a day job, right? Well, most of us have a day job, right? And we still have This passion that we want to go after And sometimes the passion doesn't pay I get it And sometimes you have to go after your career but you want to you want to look at as far as doing things that you enjoy. You know, someone could work a nine to five and still love to fucking canoe, and that's what they do on the weekends or whenever they're off. You know, a lot of people have a lot of different hobbies. Some make money off of it, and some just just don't give a fuck about the money. This was about it's all about the relaxing part of it and just putting yourself doing something that you like. If you like to go hiking, biking, let's say you you love to draw. And you just love to paint. You're not trying to sell your shit. You're just trying to paint. That is fine. You know what I'm saying? But you have to do something. You just can't say someday. So my goal for 2019, you know, I completed my vision board. I, I, I had a podcast, my vision board, a uh, few podcasts ago. And I was uh, as I was writing out 
the steps for my goals for 2019, I realized I got to line everything up. And, and some things, you know, I may be touching uh, at the same time. Um, but I don't want to fall into the same mistake I did for 2018, where once something was complete, I didn't have my next thing to move to, to, to refocus my energy and give my attention to. And I think that's what people feel like, because once they hit their goal, the next question is, what ne- what is next? Right? Because the, the climb and the journey was so exciting for me to write the book, get the book out, you know, work with different people about putting the book out. And then the end of the book was done. The book is on Amazon right now. Uh, it's called Purpose. And the sec- other book is also called Inside Out. And um, it was done. The book is there now. Now it's just sales is coming in, right? Which is fantastic. But that's it. So what is next? You know, and I don't want to leave my urban love story for some day. So the goal is to definitely get this going. You know, the podcast is amazing. Uh, um... I'm loving it. And then the podcast I have with my wife, Couples Corner, is truly amazing for us to really, you know, get inside each other and do some great things and, uh, you know, mentally get our mindset for 2019. You know, and, and as I continue to grow, I'm teaching my kids as well. You know, the, the things I know now, I didn't know 20 years ago. So my kids are going to have a leg up on that aspect because I wasn't taught that. Um, but now that I do know, I have to apply it and get it going. You know, and having a mindset of someday just doesn't do it for me. You know, and it shouldn't do it for you either. You should be really pissed off at yourself that you continue saying someday, one day. You know, maybe next week, maybe next month, maybe next year. And you continue to push off whatever you want to do to the back burner. There's no time. There's no money. You know... I trust me, I get that no money part. And once you wrap your head around what you want to do and how sometimes you have to go do it for free, I know that just probably shocked the world with that. But a lot of people have done that to where they became successful because someone wanted to pay for the service. But sometimes you have to give a little bit away before you can get something in return. Have you ever gone to Costco or one of these big box supermarkets? They tend to have a little kiosk for free food. And they give you these samples, right? And shit, you could probably have a whole fucking lunch at Costco off these free samples, right? But they're hoping that someone takes a bite, loves the taste, and then is going to want to go purchase whatever they just ate. Some people are just going to eat it, and that's it, and not pay no mind to it. And then there's that 1%. That says, damn, that's good. I want it again. Um, what is this? Let me go buy it. That's the same thing for like my book. You know, people are gonna probably give me a thumbs up on my IG or my Facebook. Oh, congratulations. They're probably never gonna buy the book or even read it. But then I'm going after that one percent who are that's gonna read it and 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 take heed to the words I'm saying or, or just falling in love with the story. And that's the one percent I'm looking for. And that's what you should look for as well, that 1%. So I want to start speaking. And my goal is probably to start doing that soon and, and find out a way how I can present myself and give my, my services up for free. I need to practice. I need to get my stage presence there. I need to make sure that I'm flowing I'm flowing right and my, and my content is on point and keeping people's interest. You know, before a comedian gets a like a Netflix special or HBO special or before they get their next you know the next special they want to try to to develop one they're going to these small comedy clubs and they keep on trying out material to see what works what doesn't work and they keep on building sometimes it takes a year or two to get that like keep on trying and redefining stuff and that's what you have to do with you You know, you're going to have to really put that someday away. Bury it in your fucking backyard and burn the fuck out of it. And never see it again. Because someday is never going to come. You have to take the moment that you're in. The time that you have now. And make something extraordinary happen for yourself. 
I'm telling you, you have to fucking do that. I demand it of you. You owe it to yourself. Who else do you fucking owe it to? I have nine fucking kids. Nine kids. That's right. We're a blended family. Is it a struggle? Yes. Is it difficult? Of course. Um, are times trying? Absolutely. But we tend to still smile. We still laugh. We still do the things that we love to do. I just spent some time with Lovely. We watched a movie together and then I said, Lovely, I gotta get to work. And that's me recording this podcast. That's me writing a, a few pages for, for, my, for my urban love story. Um, that's me looking into an, a business. I'm working on it. I'm working on it every day because I, this past year showed me I can get to my goal and complete it and have it there. You know what I'm saying? And as I promote more of myself, the more people are going to be aware of me. My audience will become larger and my books will sell more. My podcast will get listened to more. My IG will get more followers. And that's what I'm looking for. You got to look for the same thing too in yourself and really pin down what do you want to do and then fucking go after it and try it. Because as you lay in your bed at night and you wake up the next morning, it's the same fucking routine. Nothing has changed for you because you have not changed anything. You have allowed yourself to get comfortable. You have allowed yourself to Except this mediocre life that you hate anyway. It's funny how when opportunity comes, we tend to say it's not real. We want it so bad. And someone tells you, hey, I got something for you. It's a small investment. Like any business is. is there is an investment, whether it's time or money. And you say, no, I don't want to go into it. I don't want to do it. You go ahead and do it. And then you see them succeed. And you're like, damn. I should have done it. And you still don't do it. You still don't call them up and say, hey, put me on. Why is that? Because you're afraid of success. You're afraid of putting yourself out there. You're afraid of chance. You're afraid of risk. And what you do know for sure is if you stay in your routine, you know what's coming tomorrow. I don't want to live like that no more. I don't want to I don't want to live knowing what's coming tomorrow. I want to wake up in the morning and say, "Hey, what the fuck is going to happen today? How am I going to maximize on my wealth and my value? How am I going to enjoy myself today?" Hey, if you're okay with living your fucked up routine every single day and getting up and doing the same and not in this bullshit and having no forward movement by all means more power to you then if you love that shit then you love it but if you continue to say that you want more if you continue to dream about wanting more and you open your eyes and your situation haven't changed then it's time for a fucking change physically you gotta get your mindset straight. You gotta be able to take risks. You gotta take a fucking chance on yourself because no one else is gonna take a chance on yourself. No one's gonna do that. But you. Don't listen to your parents. Don't listen to that sibling or cousin of yours. Don't even listen to that best friend. Listen to you. What is in your fucking gut? What does it tell you to do? Remember. You're surrounding yourself with people who are just like you because they're comfortable too not, and they're not risk takers because if you surrounded yourself with risk takers, then you wouldn't have this idea of someday. You will have a different type of language you will be speaking. Your motivation and your mindset will command more and demand more, not just from you, but from the world around you and from the people around you. And you will find yourself in a situation where you'll be, you'll, be, you'll be placing the proper people in place to better your movement. I'm not smart, guys. 
I know enough to surround myself with people who are smarter than me, who know more about writing a book or making a book cover because I don't have those skill sets, but I'm building them. I'm becoming more knowledgeable of shit. And you can do the same. Success is not exclusive. It really isn't. Success is a mindset. Success is not monetary either. Success is not about money. Success is about you doing what the fuck you want to do. And if you're successful making 40 grand a year, but you're doing it from the comforts of your own home and you're controlling your destiny, then you fucking won. If you want to make more revenue streams and you get it done, then you won. Once we stop looking at other people and how they fucking live and worry about us and stop saying some fucking day is when we are truly going to move as a people. Time is now. Time is today. Stop wasting time. Stop waiting for someday. Johnny out.